What is good with y'all, man? So on Thursday, we are getting the Blitz promo. I think it's going to start at like 8 o'clock p.m. It's basically the Black Friday promo of Madden. The market's going to crash. It's going to be crazy. So today, I'm going to be going over my predictions of what Eagles we could possibly see, you know, for this promo. I always try to keep my predictions to like some realistic names that we can see. Now, what we know about the Blitz promo is it's always about fast players, guys who are athletic, things like that. So I got a few things here of some guys that we could definitely see. So let's go ahead and get into the list. My first prediction, I got to go with Jalen Hurts. You guys remember last year, I think, it, what was it, a 90? I think he got a 90 overall last year for the Bliss promo. I remember we were saying it all week. It was like, Jalen Hurts is going to get it. Jalen Hurts is going to get it. And he got it. We were so excited. I think he only got like a skate artist, but a skate artist was crazy in that game. So it was fine. Uh, this year, though. I'm going with he could possibly get a 93 because obviously they're not going to give him a 90 because, as you can see, this is his last card right here at 89. They ain't going to bump him up one overall. He could possibly get a 93. Now, I don't know what abilities he would get for his 93s. a scrambler archetype. You see, Justin Fields got a set feet lead, so I'm not too sure what Jalen Hurts would get. Uh, but it would definitely be a pretty cool card, definitely since, you know, Mike Vick is... Uh, yeah, we need new quarterbacks, so Jalen Hurts would be pretty good. My second prediction, got to go with Mike Vick, and you're probably thinking, Mike Vick, really? Yes, so basically, if you guys didn't know, EA, I feel like I always say that, if you guys didn't know, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping, but EA, they tweeted this thing out, it was like some little like holiday promotion trailer for like, you know, the Blitz, uh, Zero Chill and all that, and two people that showed in the trailer, Sean Taylor and Michael Vick, that isn't just for absolutely no reason, so that means... Either both of those guys are coming out for Zero Chill, or one of these guys are coming out for the Blitz promo. You got to think Mike Vick came out a while ago, like September 10th. Don't I only know the date because, look, I'm not going to lie to you, like me and Mike Vick been through it all. So every day is getting counted. But September 10th is when he came out. Like he's he came out a while ago. So he low key is, you know, you know, Michael Vick is a staple of mud. People got to understand that. So he could easily get a car for the blitz pro one now if he does i'm not gonna lie to you he's gonna need gunslinger sefi leading fearless it's the only way to make this card good because his release is so bad so we just gotta hope and pray third one i'm gonna go with this sean jackson d -Jax. he's back in the league he's with the baltimore ravens like i said the blitz promo is you know it's heavily based on just fast you know athletic players but definitely players being fast and that is what the sean jackson is he doesn't have a card or he doesn't got a core gold because technically he wasn't really on the team at the time, but like I said, now he's on Baltimore. So it's only right that Sean Jackson gets a card. Now, how would this fit in with the many receivers we got? I mean, Carmichael, Mike Wallace, you got A.J. Brown. Then to be the Sean Jackson. Oh, did I forget our Monk? Some people even use still Devontae Smith. Like, there's just so many receivers that we have that it's just like, if he's going to get a card... He's going to have to be like 96 speed with the theme team. Like, obviously not base, but I mean like with the 50 out of 50, he's going to, have to be like 94 base. I'm not going to lie to you because we got so many receivers. Next one, we got another guy not in Madden 23 yet. We got Randall Cunningham. I mean, this is usually the time of the year when Randall Cunningham gets a card. I think last year he got his first card. I remember it was a 94 overall for the bow nose, and it was around this time. So, you know... Randall Cunningham, you know, if he doesn't get one for the Blitz, he could get an AK or he could get a Legend. It's still, I don't know, I don't know what he would get for AK because I'm not sure what his nickname is. But uh, at this point, I just need a new Eagles quarterback, please. Next prediction, we got Miles Sanders. He really hasn't, you know, it's not an upgrade, I guess. I don't know if you really count, you know, his core lead. And then he had the one card for the field pass. I don't know if we really are going to count all those, but... You know what I mean? That was a long time ago. We're on a whole new season. That was months ago. There's a chance he could get one. Now, if he does get one, I don't think it's going to be one of the higher ones. Like, everybody else I just named, well, except for probably Deshaun Jackson, I think he'd get a 93. Like, Jalen Hurts, Mike Vick, Cunningham, d -Jax, though, I mean, I'll be honest. If he gets one, he's probably getting like a 90 or something like that. Um, but if, which if he does, is probably not going to make the roster because I don't think he's going to be as fast as the other guys, but who knows? I could be wrong. You never know. Uh, but Miles Sanders, if he does get one, I think it'll also probably be like a 90 overall. Um, and we already got LaShawn McCoy, Keith Byers. I don't know, you know, where is he going to fit in? So it's kind of one of them cards where it's like, it's still not bad because not everybody has, you know, the best players for the Eagles theme team. The Eagles theme team is not cheap. Everybody, you know, for some people, they, they probably pick this card because they can't afford LaShawn McCoy. They can't afford Keith Byers. So it might be a W. 
for some of you other guys out there. Next prediction, we got Quez Watkins. Like I said, his promo is all about speed. This is the guy right here, Quez Watkins. I mean, look, for a 78 overall, the guy has 85 speed. Just imagine if he gets a 90, he's getting minimum like 93 base speed. If it just if he gets a 90, I mean, he, he I, I mean, dog, he pretty much has to. I mean, he's got to. So, Quez Watkins could be another W name. The thing is, though, like I said, we got so many receivers, it's just like. It's kind of the same thing with Miles Sanders. So probably one of them situations where it's like, hey, if you don't got all the best players, then maybe it'll work out for you. But for some people that have, you know, pretty much all, pretty much everybody for the Eagles team, team, it's just like, eh. But I st it's still good for depth. Hey, maybe a good return, man. And you know what I mean? I yeah. Next prediction, I got Darius Slay, who I cannot believe has not gotten a card yet this year. Even last year, you guys remember he had the team of the week card. I mean. At least he has something. This year he has got nothing. This is the only card he has is Corley. Uh, I know you guys remember last year he got that zero chill card. I'm not going to lie to you. That card was godlike. Maybe he'll get a card for the Blitz. He is a, one of the faster corners in the league. So and if, if he gets a 93, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a nasty card. So hopefully, you know, maybe it'll happen. The next prediction, we got Avante Maddox. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I really did not know that he got a card for most feared. Like, I didn't know till like, probably, like, a week ago. Somebody told me, he was like, yeah, I got the Avante Maddox corner. And I'm thinking the core lady said, no, you got a most feared. But that's a whole different story. Uh, there's a chance he get a card, obviously, because he's really fast. That's, like, this list problem was all about speed. So there's a chance he could get one. Uh, I don't know if I really want him to because, I mean, I'm looking at some of these stats. At 87, he's got 81 press. Uh, his play rank is at 80. I don't think you guys understand. Play rank is very important. Awareness is important. So he's got 80 play rank, 80 awareness. I don't really know if I want him to get a card, but I got to put him in here because I think there's a chance he can get one. For my last prediction, I'm going to go in and Dominic and Sue. Obviously, we do get some D linemen for this promo. Not all of them are fast. I mean, Montez Sweat is going to be, but uh, I think Sue is going to get one because, you know, he just got back in the league because honestly, I don't know how he got a core lead. If I don't know what happened with him in Tampa, but you know, he was a phrase, and so I don't know. He's back in the league, he played one game for us, he balled out. I think there's a chance that he could, you know, maybe just get one. So, why not Adama get sued? Maybe even throw Linval Joseph in there, you know. I, I don't I don't know about the big Linval, but maybe the Dominic gets sued. We'll see. But those are my predictions for Eagles that we could possibly get for the Bliss promo. Let me know down in the comments. Do you got any other names? Do you agree with some of mine? And you know, what do you think? What is going to happen is Bliss promo. Uh, it's going to be a W. It's the Black Friday promo, basically, of Madden. The market is going to drop. Any Eagles that you need to get that you haven't get, haven't got and not get, uh, definitely you want to go ahead and pick them up. Me, personally, I'm going to go pick Art Monk up for the Bliss promo. I could buy him right now. He said got 1.6, but he's going to be way cheaper when that promo drops. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so stay tuned for that. Like I said, it's going to be Thursday, I think, at 8 p.m. But that's pretty much going to do it, though, boys. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and your boy is out.